General Hospital is your local full-service medical facility. A newly remodeled nursery can greet your newborn. The CT scan can perform numerous diagnostic tests. A fully equipped emergency room can meet those immediate needs. Newly remodeled waiting areas, wellness center, physical therapy, and rehab can keep you in the game of life. Call 601-735-5151. A late score with a minute and a half left in the game gave South Choctaw Academy from Toxie, Alabama a 12-7 win over your Jaguars of Wayne Academy Friday night in the season opener for both teams. The loss dropped the Jags to 0-1 on the year heading into next week's game against Silva Bay Academy, that one also on the road. The Rebels drew first blood with 2.03 left in the first half when Hunter Shambly scored on a six-yard run. That gave the Rebels a 6-0 lead by the intermission. In the fourth quarter, with five and a half minutes left, Jacob Castle scored on a six-yard run. Xander Pitts booted the extra point and the Jaguars held a 7-6 lead. Then with 131 left, Shambly scored on a six-yard run to set the final margin at 12 to 7. Wayne Academy had eight first downs, rushed for 153 yards on 32 carries, completed five of 19 passes for 36 yards, punted the ball five times, converted four of 13 third down attempts and one of three fourth down attempts. Castle led the offense with 96 yards rushing, another 36 passing. Colin Trigg The Classic Sandwich Shop is now opening the doors on Saturdays from 10 until 2. Join us in eating lunch from our selection of salads and sandwiches. We have several flavors of ice cream for dessert. The Classic Sandwich Shop has comfortable seating inside or outside the building. We offer a business room to eat while doing work in privacy. We are open throughout the week from 6.30 until 3. Visit the Classic Sandwich Shop located on 921 Wayne Street. Time now for the Todd Mangum post game report. Taking a look at tonight's game against uh, South Choctaw. Coach, tough game, 12 to 7 decision. Or what do you think? Just missed opportunities. I mean, gosh, dog, shoot herself in the foot. Uh, you know, I mean, there was things on both sides of the ball. We had the opportunities to make plays. And, you know, credit them, they made the plays. Well, Coach, when you had to make the big play, scoring that touchdown, let's talk a little bit about that drive. That was good check. Time. Yeah, we came back out after the lightning delay and thought we, you know, came out there and had a little fire and went down and, you know, put the ball in the end zone and go up seven to six. And, you know, it was just, we got we to gotta make stops. And, you know, they made a couple big time catches and everything. But, you know, hey, bottom line is we didn't do the things that we needed to do to be successful. Well, Coach, you know, they did make some successful passes, but, boy, the defense and secondary really stepped up with some key interceptions. Yeah, I thought so, too. I thought so, too. But, you know, like I said, we just got to keep doing it. We got to be consistent. That's the thing. We got to get consistency. Well, now we got to get ready for week two, Silver Bay Academy. What's it going to be like to try to get ready for that? It's going to be tough because somebody next week is going to be one and one, and somebody's going to be 0-2. And I hope we're on the one and one side next week. Amen to that. Well, 7 o'clock uh, next Friday night will be the kickoff. Wayne Academy on the road at Silver Bay, Coach. All the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That'll just about do it for our Todd Mangum post game report. I'm Sean Dunlap from the sidelines in Toxie, Alabama, saying good night. Nothing lets your football friends and tailgating buddies know that you're a grill master like the Big Green Egg. And Gatlin Building Supply is your exclusive local Big Green Egg distributor. We carry all sizes, plus hardwood charcoal, 
all the accessories that you'll need to be that grill master that you want to become. Stop by 57 Woodward Switch Road to see what we have for you. Clara had little trouble in its season opener Thursday night, rolling to a 36-6 win over Sand Hill at home. The Whippets rolled up 222 yards on the ground and another 99 through the airways as they scored 8 points in the first quarter, 14 in the second, 6 in the third, and 8 in the fourth. Clara rolled to the wins with relative ease, also holding the Bucks to only 19 yards rushing on 20 carries, intercepting the pass and giving up only 100 yards through the airways, one of those on a 73-yard touchdown pass. Beat four and Wayne Central squared off in a Singing River Conference game on Thursday night in the season opener for both teams at Beat Four, with the Lions of Wayne Central coming away with a 14 to nothing victory. In the second quarter, Tyreek Spencer scored on a seven yard run to make it six to nothing at halftime. Then in the fourth quarter, Kelvin Wally raced 48 yards for another touchdown. Then Wally ran in the conversion to set the final margin at 14 to nothing. The Lions rushed for 131 yards. The Tigers 96 yards on the night. If you are wanting to get in shape and healthy, Wayne General Hospital's Wellness Center can do just that for you. We have the machines and staff to be able to support any goal you want to invest in yourself. We can set you up with a workout plan for you to be able to achieve. If you prefer aerobics or dance classes, we have them throughout the week for you to participate in. Come and get healthy with us at Wayne General Hospital or call us at 601-735-7167. Wayne Academy's fast pitch softball team continues to roll, beating Lamar Christian School Thursday night at home. The bats were hot for the Lady Jaguars as they prepare for Saturday's tournament at Park Lane. It's the Park Lane Academy Tournament, but it's being played in Brookhaven because that facility has multiple fields, so multiple games can be played. After that, the Lady Jaguars travel to Silva Bay Academy on Monday, then will host Bowling Green, Louisiana in a key district contest on Tuesday. That Monday game set for a 6.30 start. The Tuesday game set for a 5 p.m. start. If you are injured and need immediate care, come to Wayne General Hospital's emergency room. Our response team is quick to react to any incident. Our new ambulance allows the fastest reaction time to arrive at the scene to assist in any situation. Our staff is fully prepared to take on any medical concern. Our emergency room contains a friendly atmosphere to make you feel comfortable during your wait. In an emergency, call 911 to receive help.
to the left and you step out to the right and you jump, jump, jump. Step out to the left and you step out to the right and you jump, jump, jump. Step out to the left and you step out to the right and you jump, jump, jump. Another like me. <laughs> 